The Zombies of Dead Rising are sinking their teeth into their own digital series. That's right, a live-action digital series based on the Undead video game franchise is in the early stages of development. It's being overseen by Tim Carter, the producer behind the first season of the hit Mortal Kombat Legacy digital series. We recently caught up with Tim right here in our studio for an episode of EP Live where he told us all about the project. We've finished creative development on Dead Rising. We optioned Dead Rising from Capcom, and we're now just finalizing a deal with a very large studio in Los Angeles. It'll be live action, it'll be cinematic quality. Unlike Mortal Kombat, it'll be a linear story, so yeah. the episodes will string together for a single narrative that follows a package of characters. You know, it'll be a 90-minute story that looks and feels like a movie when it's done, so cross your fingers. Tim stresses that the Dead Rising digital series has yet to get a green light, so there's still a chance that it might not rise from the grave. He's also developing a digital series based on the upcoming game, The Mighty Number no. 9, and we'll keep you up to date with the latest on both projects. You can watch our full interview with Tim by heading to eplive.tv. And the big screen adaptation of another huge gaming franchise is racing into the third dimension. The Need for Speed movie is getting a 3D release. It wasn't shot with 3D cameras, which means the studio is using computers to convert it to the format. This may come as a surprise to fans who've been following the production of the film because director Scott Waugh has been adamant about using computers as little as possible. I personally have CG fatigue. I just feel like movies live in these false worlds. Mm. And I personally like realism, and that lends to the characters in my films and the films that I love. When everything is real, for some reason, the character depth is even more real. And we wanted to keep everything 100% no CG in the film. We'll settle this behind the wheel. Need for Speed will race into theaters on March 14th. This won't be the first Need for Speed to hit the eye-popping third dimension. The 2010 game Need for Speed Hot Pursuit offered 3D visuals on the PS3 and PC. The next batch of DLC for Bioshock Infinite promises to be much longer than its predecessor. The second part of the episodic Burial at Sea expansion will take players roughly six hours to complete. That's according to the game's creator, Ken Levine, who says that it will take that long to explore everything. If you rush through, it will be over sooner, of course. This follows complaints from fans that the first episode was too short, clocking in at just 90 minutes. There's a profit to be made and men who make it. As for gameplay, the expansion will have a stronger focus on stealth, with players taking control of Elizabeth for the first time. Burial at Sea Episode 2 will be available for all versions of Bioshock Infinite starting March 25th. Netflix wants to explore more of Washington's seedy underbelly. The streaming service has renewed its exclusive series, House of Cards, for a third season. Kevin Spacey will reprise his role as the corrupt U.S. Congressman Frank Underwood, with Robin Wright back as his conniving wife. Shooting will begin soon, and you can expect the new season to be available exclusively on Netflix sometime next year. I've already told you I will not do a blank check. The renewal comes just before the premiere of the second season, which will be available to stream in its entirety starting February 14th. House of Cards recently made history by becoming the first digital series to win big at the Emmys and the Golden Globes. I don't know whether to be proud or terrified. The next Star Wars movie is going to hit Earth this summer. No, not Episode 7. Disney has announced that the upcoming animated TV series Star Wars Rebels will begin rolling out this summer with a feature-length film on the Disney XD channel. There's no word if the film will also get a theatrical release similar to the animated Clone Wars movie that hit theaters back in 2008. A series of animated shorts will also be shown on the XD channel this summer, introducing audiences to the new characters and setting. Star Wars Rebels takes place between the prequel and the original trilogies and chronicles the rise of the Rebel Alliance against the Empire. The first season will launch this fall. As for Episode 7, the screenplay is now finished and the project is in pre-production. Shooting will begin soon and it'll begin causing massive lineups in theaters everywhere on December 18th, 2015. You have learned much, young one. You'll find I'm full of surprises. 